Uh, hello there, demigods. I'm Calypso, but I guess you're aware of this. Seeing as Leo shared his drink with you previously, I suppose it's my turn to give you all something new. One of my favorite drinks to make in Ojigio is fresh apple cider. Usually I would make it in a pot, but the modern technology here in your mortal world has made it far easier. To start this off, here are the ingredients you'll need. Eight apples, 10 cups of water, four cinnamon sticks or cinnamon bark, one tablespoon of allspice, one tablespoon of whole cloves, and a crock pot. To begin, we're going to head outside to the camp orchards and pick ourselves eight of the freshest apples. Take those apples and cut them all into quarter slices. It doesn't matter if they're exactly the same size, as we will be mashing them up later on. Add the sliced apples into the slow cooker, then pour in your 10 cups of water. Add the cinnamon bark, cloves, and allspice to the pot and give it a light stir. Cover the slow cooker with the lid and set it to cook on high for three hours. When the three hours is up, take a mashing contraption of some kind and mash down all the apples and spices into small pieces. Set it to cook for another three hours on high and let it rest. While that cooks, take those hours to go do something. I recommend reading or listening to a good story. Personally, I recommend this one about Leo and I. Uh, uh, anyways. After the final three hours is up, strain the cider through a sieve into storage containers. You can either save it in your fridge for up to a month or freeze it so you can keep it for up to a year. Take a portion of the hot cider, put it into a mug and enjoy. I hope you enjoyed my Ojigia cider recipe. This was actually a lot more fun than I expected it to be. It's a lot of hours to wait, but in my opinion, it's worth it. Thank you all so much for watching. It really does mean so much to us, and it makes a huge difference. If you like all these new recipes and videos, why not subscribe to the channel? And if you want some extra special perks like production vlogs, behind the scenes, or even want a chance to decide which recipe gets made next, definitely check out our Patreon. Even just $1 goes a long way to making this channel even better. Thanks again, demigods. We'll see you tomorrow.